wow this feels really awkward <laughs> to be honest but hey guys welcome back to my channel uh another week another video but yeah this feels really weird also i have this humongous spot on my face i have something here but it's because i did it myself i squeezed my spots and now i have this but it's not the first it's not the feral it's not the first world problem there are other problems in the world i guess today is wednesday and I really wanted to talk about one thing. <laughs> uh, things change really quickly and today marks one week since I am jobless. Um, I don't have my full time job anymore. And I just took that week to really relax, ease my mind, go to the nature, by the river, have a swim soak some sun um, read a book write talk with the people spend some time with people around me and yeah i just really appreciate things that i have in this current moment this year um i think this year maybe last year has been really hard for most of the people and this year especially because we have this war, we have layoffs, we have um, price rises, we have all that jazz that makes our lives more difficult than it was before. Even now, pandemic seems a bit easier than uh, it is now in some cases, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the past half of the year was really tough for me too, and um, I really wanted to talk about this situation I am in now and how everything evolved, I guess because I know that a lot of people feel the same way and not a lot of people talk about this and I just really wanted to express myself through this camera, this visual and audio and just talk about things, yeah I'm actually really hungry right now, but I wanted to have this talk with you. I'm gonna sip on some water because it's really hot today. It's like plus 32. As you saw, I was by the river. I got some sun. I got some sunshine. Um, yeah. I've been cleaning the house a little. Just wanted to put everything in my head and then talk with you. So, as you may know or not know, um, up till last Wednesday I had a um, full-time job with a skincare brand, in the skincare brand and it's been a year and a half that I was working there but with all the circumstances that we have now, um, it, ha it had to happen that um, I don't have this job anymore but I really feel like I want to talk about it. I just don't know how to put things in words. Anyway, so things change and people change and places change. And in the past half of the year, um, since I think like February, um, a, lot of, a lot of things changed in my mind also because I'm a really creative person and um, I need to have a lot of creativity in the things that I do um, in the job, in work, uh, in my daily life I need to, I just need to be creative because it's something that I don't actually need to put a lot of effort into I'm just creative since I was a child I have this, everything I have is in my mind like right now my imagination is endless and every day I think about creating something with music, visual, beauty. Uh, every day I have these things in my mind and 
um, beauty beauty and visual arts is something that I want to pursue for the rest of my life at least I think so now but uh, it's been following me since I was a kid honestly so yeah uh, I really appreciated the work and the job that I had but there are certain moments that things don't go the way you would like and the way people would like and then you start to struggle because you can't really do things that you love anymore in that place at that time and when you don't do what you want to do and you and when you keep everything inside yourself it just starts clogging you you know you have all these things inside your head and all the visions but you can't put it out there because there are no right circumstances for that and then you begin to struggle and needing to change something so i feel like a lot of creative people have this thing that they really want to create and do their best they can and do the things how they visualize it and use all the help all the other um, colleagues friends and people that they know other professionals to create something amazing but um, when you can't you as i said you start to struggle because you keep everything inside you and then you have to do actually things that you are not loving because the circumstances are not um, on your favor so you have to you have to live i guess in that kind of in some way in a comfort zone because you get the money for that but in the other way um, you live not in your own comfort zone and it's not comforting to be in this kind of situation so i've been feeling like that for quite a long time and i really started to feel that it's really getting in me and in my psychological health and my nervous system um, how my immunity reacts to all these minds and thoughts that i have every single day my fiance sharunas he said that you are not as you were before and yeah it really got me it really really got me and also as a creative person you never want to be squeezed in someone's frame and when and when you start feeling that you're getting squeezed it's also really affecting your motivation and creativity and i've been in this situation before um and my body automatically turns on this kind of alarm warning that says you have to stop now otherwise it's not going to be good for your mental health so everything everything all at once all the things i felt like are affecting me in a wrong way i really want to work for myself as a creative director, creative art director for other brands based on the projects, um, join many different projects, uh, involve fashion, beauty all together because these are the things I like and I had this idea for the longest time and I just didn't know how to start and I guess I still don't know how to do it because I want to still take some time to rest my head, rest my mind. We're going on holiday next week to Italy for two weeks and I think it's going to be really, really, really amazing, amazing, amazing thing this year. I can't wait. We are going to see how it goes to work on myself first, on my mind first and then on the things that I want to do in life and I really believe that it's going to go well I guess it can be different I lost 
I lost I lost the mind of what I was saying, but yeah. Um, so it happened that the universe joined all the things that I had in my mind and all the things that were happening within the brand I was working with and um, regard some reasons I I am not a part of that brand anymore but um, the ego part it's really hard the ego part is saying that you should be doing things like everyone else does and that you should start immediately look for um, another job and like work in the office you you can't work on your own you're not good for this um, you're not talented you can't make your own way through this but my normal side of mind i know that i can do things and i know that i i'm strong in this and i know that I have a lot of ideas, amazing ideas on my mind and I can help other brands do their visuals, I can do a lot of things for myself and for others but in a more of not framed way, um, in a freelance way, work on interesting projects and just I guess try this. If you never try you will never know this is really true because how can you know if you never try i really think that if you are in this situation also do not let the bad thoughts and bad mind let you down you can do things that you want but you just need to invest your time for the long-term results rather than just doing things for someone else and not being happy for the short-term results because things can change like this really quickly and you need to you need to first work on yourself have a good relationship with your family love your friends love your family be an explorer notice the small things breathe be in the nature and just do things for yourself first because you are the only one person that's going to be left if everyone else leaves you just remember that you are the most important person and your loved ones so I think it's going to be an interesting journey and because I have this time now for myself and just to be with me um, for some time and just to put everything in their drawers put all the things in where they should be um, you'll see you'll go through this journey with me and we will see how it goes but I just really want to say that I just really want to say to the people who are in the same situation in the same mindset that I am everything just can't be wrong um, I really do believe in universe because up till last week I had all these signs and all these minds and all these thoughts and all these things happening that led to this and for some reason um, I am grateful for everything that I had to go through and for all the things happening because it's just another challenge that's going to make you more unique and more yourself and be out there and do the things that you actually love and this is the universe giving you sign now to do it it's the time is now the time is now really and um yeah yeah everything's gonna be all right if you have any questions or if you want to chat with me about life about making yourself a better person better professional in where you want to be and talk about how to enjoy the process of finding yourself finding the meaning in the things that you want to do 
I am down for that. Uh, we can chat. Um, you can ask me anything you want. And I would love to share maybe even some tips if I have some, some ideas, some encouraging words for you, how to be in the moment and how to go through this. And yeah, I just really wanted to talk about it, share this. Uh, I think it's really important during these times, during these days. And let's make lunch now because I'm getting really hungry and I had just the smoothie in the morning, the superfood smoothie. So I need some lunch right now. Let's go do some lunch. So this is my lunch. We have some smoked tofu, zucchini, Lithuanian lettuce from the market, avocado, roasted sunflower seeds, and this is the sauce from tahini, Greek yogurt, honey, uh, really, really interesting mango chili sauce, which is really spicy, some salt, and that's it. The sauce is a bit weird, but I think it's gonna go well together with what we have. Because yeah, this is made from the things I have in the fridge, not because I actually want to eat this, but it's going to be delicious. Okay, my belly is happy. I ate well. Actually, I didn't eat the sauce because it was too spicy. Anyway, uh, I think two weeks ago, yeah, around two, three weeks ago, I got a couple of tops for uh, fall and for my holiday. And I just wanted to show you the tops that I got. The prices were amazing. I got them on sale. Um, yeah let me show you what i got so this is the first top it's from the brand called leger um, it's from about you it has these cute details these buttons it's supposed to be like this like it's supposed to it's supposed to have these gaps um i really like that it. it's different i mean if you want to wear um nipple covers you can do that but when it's hot for me the worst thing is bra when it's hot like that i can't wear a bra because it's sticky it gets into my belly my back my arms i just hate it so i prefer not to wear a bra but it's really cute i think it goes well with the skirts with the shorts now i'm wearing like shorts from zara you just have to be more of a brave person to wear it like this wear the tops like this that have these boob gaps i guess i don't know how you call them but it's made from 100 percent organic uh, cotton and the material looks a bit like towel-y top number two from the brand naked uh, a symmetrical bottom has these cute buttons also i really like the long sleeves i like how it sits on my body i like that it's asymmetrical i really love asymmetrical things i don't know why but i like the color i like the color and the color i think that's how you pronounce the color <laughs> and yeah it's also made from recycled cotton and organic cotton it was only 10 euros and i think it's a perfect piece for uh, early fall or late summer and summer evenings you can also unbutton it if you want and like style it however you want but I really like it it's nice you can see the material and the buttons and everything but I feel really hot with this top I need to take it off and then I think I'm gonna have some matcha because it's half past three and I don't want to drink coffee anymore. I'm gonna have some matcha, uh, enjoy it in the sun and 
yeah let's make cold matcha because it's hot and i don't want any hot drink right now i'm gonna use this one uh, from Kiano. it has 50 percent matcha then uh, apple maca ginger and cinnamon and everything is organic so yeah i'm gonna use this one i'm gonna add one tablespoon And use my whisker, of course. Some ice cubes. I used coconut milk that is really good hot but cold it's not really that good I spat on myself but it's not re really that good so the matcha is okay it's not bad Hey guys, it is the next day and I just came back after my cosmetologist. Um, I thought I'm not going to go in August and September but my skin started to really break out and I was like no, I just need to go and yesterday at night she posted an Instagram story where she shared that she has a space for today and I was like please get me in. So. As you see, my face is a little bit red right now. Still have these spots, but it's glowy. It's full of good products and I'm really happy. We usually do a cleanse, deep cleanse with acids and uh, she's doing a lot of hydrating things and using niacinamide and variety of acids and exfoliants because I have rosacea. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word actually. I always used to write it because I was working with um, with a skincare brand and social media. So I used to always write Rosacea, but how is it pronounced? I'm gonna check after how I need to pronounce that. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. <laughs> I am sitting here now without my shorts. My shorts are there because it's extremely hot you can't stay outside still like until late evening and i have one mission to do i need to send shoes uh, because i sold my old running nike shoes on vinted i need to go and put these to the um, parcel the delivery parcel machine and i'm not gonna lie today i'm in a bit mixed mood um i have variety of thoughts in my mind regards to jobs money um yeah probably most mostly about money and the future uh it's a bit scary I'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest and yeah just having these thoughts I'm trying to think realistically but still it just gets me because I just spend the money on my cosmetologist which I always do every single month it's my holy grail and I feel good when I take care of my skin but now because I'm not sure about the future money wise I'm like why did I spend that money maybe I should have kept this way and so on so yeah it's quite quite hard to be in this position but i think i just need to rem i just need to remind myself why is this happening and really believe really believe in myself i think it's the most important thing 
um, I still haven't had coffee so I'm going to bring this parcel and then I'm gonna come back and make a coffee and maybe journal a little we will see but yeah let's go it is so hot I am sweaty and I have this skincare glaze on my face but yeah it's extremely hot I'm not going outside until the evening for sure it's coffee time but it's already 2 p.m. and I haven't had coffee yet so I would love that now I just finished journaling a little and even though I'm Lithuanian I'm still journaling in English because it helps me um, it helps me to think in English because if you want to talk in English you need to think in English also and sometimes um, there are things to say only to say in English because we don't have such phrases in Lithuanian so I prefer to write and when I can think in English and I just uh, did two things today. I wrote how I feel and the other one was what I can change to not to feel bad. What I can change to not feel bad. And I really like one thing that I wrote from my head, which is understand that, understand that uncertain times are uncomfortable because you don't have the future planned not because you are unable to do what you love or unable to become a better version of your own self which i think is so true in these uncertain times we feel really uncomfortable because we don't have our next week plan we don't have next month's plan we don't know how much money we're gonna earn we don't know what we're gonna do we don't know what job we're gonna have we Basically, if we don't have something secured, but that secured is not always secured. I mean, things can change in one day like it did to me. So really, these times are uncomfortable because you don't know what's going to happen. Not because you are a bad person or you don't have any talents or you can't do things that you love is just our brains tend to think like a hundred years forward and we can't stay in the present moment which i really want to learn i really 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 want to learn how to stay in how to be in the present moment how to be in this moment how to enjoy this moment so if you have any good podcasts or books or tips about being present uh, in the moment, let me know. I will definitely listen or read the book if you recommend. So yeah, I did my little journaling session. I'm not a journaling person at all. Um, I do it when I feel like, but I feel like it's going to be more of that right now because I finally have calm time and calm space in my head to do so. Uh, but I think I'm gonna need to buy a journaling book because this is a planner and I have some space empty space left in the back of the book so just using that but yeah just did my little session and I want to shoot some things today I have this idea in my mind which I think is going to look really cool I just need to check if I have some paper and things that I need but I'm just gonna finish my coffee. So I just shot the things that I wanted. Uh, if you want to see the final result, follow me on Instagram. And now it's lunchtime. Not gonna be the healthiest person on earth, but Sharunas found really nice things from Lidl. He found these Alaska Pollock fillet um, frozen fish things. It's like fish and chips, but this one is with the herbs and cheese. The last time we just had regular one. Uh, 
These are really good, really crispy, and it actually has a lot of fish inside. This is my lunch. Some salad, some cucumber, carrots. This is cream cheese with tomatoes, sriracha mayo, and these fish things that I showed you before. Enjoy. It's already half past six and I'm not gonna do anything much, I think, in the evening. Maybe we will go for a walk because it's supposed to rain, but it's still not raining, but the weather outside is way, way, way better than it was during the daytime. I'm just sitting on a carpet, <laughs> chilling, but I think, I think really that's it. I have some cleaning to do, but it's nothing interesting. And I don't want this vlog to be too long because when I do really long vlogs, uh, it's really hard to edit for me because it's all over the place. So I just want to keep my vlogs a little bit shorter but from now on they're going to be even way more interesting uh, because of the all the things happening right now uh, we also booked an apartment in bologna because after venice we are going to bologna in italy so we had to book something just to be calm and sure that we have an apartment booked and yeah my skin is looking already better after today's visit to a cosmetologist and i'm really happy that um i didn't save that money <laughs> and it went to make my skin feel and look better thank you so 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 much for watching my video um your support is everything to me honestly especially right now during this period um, i hope you enjoy my content and going to enjoy it even more and don't forget to subscribe to like this video comment down below about your experiences uh, if you have any questions as i said do not hesitate and DM me on Instagram or comment down below under this video and see you soon, see you soon. Thank you for watching and see you, see you, see you soon. Mm -hmm.